Hi, this is Becca Taylor from masterprocrastinator.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can load fonts onto your iPad for use in the Design Space app. So before we get started, let's talk about the apps that I'm using. I'm using Unzip and Any Font. I don't have any personal stake in these apps. These are just the ones that I've chosen to use. I'm sure the iTunes Store has other apps that function very much the same way, but I'm just not familiar with them. So if you haven't installed these, if you plan to work alongside me, I'd go ahead and do that and then come back here. Also, for the purposes of this tutorial, I've used images and graphics from the Cute Creatures Bundle from craftbundles.com. I'm a huge fan of these bundles. Um, I've been using this website for quite some time already, but um, the fine folks there have uh, graciously gifted me with this particular bundle so that I could create these tutorials for you. So first, we're going to dive in and load the font onto your iPad. First, you need to go to the website where you have purchased or are going to download the font. In this case, it's the craftbundles.com bundle page. And I tap on download. And that opens up the browser in a new tab. It's trying to download the zip file. This could take a few seconds, particularly if it's a large file. When you see this screen, that means that the download is done and you can tap on open and unzip. That will open the unzip app and you'll see the bundle displayed here. Uh, it's the cute creatures bundle.zip file. When you're ready to unzip it, you can tap on the file name and it will unzip and uh, show the folder just like it would um, any other app or folder on the iPad. Now that it's unzipped, we can install the font on the iPad using any font. So go back to unzip and navigate to the file that you want to install. Just tap and go until you find the file that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to the fonts folder and I'm looking for the cute things font. And once I find it, um, all I need to do is go to the right hand side of the screen where there's a little eye in a circle and tap on that. That brings up a, f a menu option and we want to say open in. And you'll see this screen pop up that shows several different apps. And from there you can choose any font. And you'll see it pop up onto your screen and display the font name. Tap on that and then tap on the icon that it shows you. And then it's gonna go through a, a couple of wizard windows and just continue stepping through that wizard. Uh, click install, okay, or accept, whatever you need to to get it uh, installed. And then um, here you can click open and that means you're done. So the font is installed. Now we can go use it in the Design Space app. So I launch the app. I have a project open that already has the image that I'm working with. And so I tap on the text tool to add text. I also like to use the search bar for fonts because there are so many. I find it's just faster. But you can see when I search for cute, I don't see the font in the font library. And so I go to save my project file because this is a common issue no matter what kind of device you're on, whether you're on a laptop or a tablet, whether you're on Windows or a Mac. Um, what happens is when you install new fonts, you need to close the programs that you've been working in so that they can reinitialize and look for the new font library on the device. So that's what I do here. I open up the app browser on the iPad. I close Cricut Design Space and I go back and I open it. And because I've closed the app, I need to go through and navigate to the project I was just working on, which I do here. Um, when you get to your project, you just click on Customize, and it'll open it in uh, on the canvas again. And this is something you'll see pretty frequently in the Cricut Design Space app. It's going to say a project already exists. And what that's doing is it's looking at the memory um, of the device, and it thinks that there's already something on the canvas because you've been working in it. Um, but because we saved it, I'm going to say replace what's there so that it brings up the latest version of the file. So now I go back and I click on text to add the text. I search for my font. And then once I select the font, uh, it's going to open up the text box and I can type the text that I want in there. And once I have the text box, I can just continue working. Um, I can adjust the size, I can adjust the spacing, whatever I need to do um, by continuing to use that text tool. Uh, so I have gone ahead and installed also the script version of this font. 
and you can see here I'm resizing it. And I just wanted to take a couple more minutes to give you a tip um, when you're working with script fonts. You know, script fonts, because of the fact that they are a script, they always have these serifs and, and strokes that are meant to connect the letters together. Design Space comes with a tool that squeezes your letters together that can adjust the letter spacing. And I'm doing that here, but you can see what happens is there are some fonts that just don't display properly. Um, you can see there's more space here between the N and the G. Um, even though H-A-N and G-I-N are all joined together, the N and the G aren't. So a way to work around that in Design Space is to select your text and go to the Actions tools and select Ungroup. And that ungroups the letters. And so you can see here that now I can um, manually adjust the spacing between the N and the G. And because I've done that, um, I go in and I group it all together. Um, but I also, because I'm going to be cutting this in vinyl, I weld the letters together. And what that does is that prevents the Cricut from cutting the tips of those joining lines, which it would do automatically because that's what it does. It sees that the letter ends there, so it wants to cut it. But we don't want it to because we want that the actual cut material to all be one piece. And so that's what the weld tool does, is it joins all of those together and it kind of erases those overlapping lines so that everything sticks together in one piece. And so from there, I just resize and adjust and um, I'll finish out the project. And you can see the final version uh, here at the end of the video. I hope this has been helpful showing you how you can load fonts onto your iPad to use in Cricut Design Space so you have more choices um, for the fonts that you're using in your designs. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and um, let me know. Thanks and happy crafting.